We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. On today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is, is from Marachan, a fire yakisobi spicy meat. Now, I did the Marachan spicy bowl, which is not great. And then I did the Nissan spicy wok, which was quite a bit better. Now we've got the fire yakisoba. And... Who knows? Who knows how this one's going to shake out? I don't need directions. Okay, so let's play a game of Find the Heat Source. And let's see here. This is all really strung out, so it should be a little bit hard to read here, I think, but we'll see if we can make it work. I'm not seeing... Anything that uh, is referencing heat at all. So let's see, where is this buried? I see a bunch of dehydrated vegetables. Oh, natural flavor, there it is. Okay. Well, let's just get into it and see what it's all about. Okay. All right, let's see what we have. We have dehydrated vegetables, trash, and we have the flavor packet. Well, let's see what's in the flavor packet. Oh, look at this. Just It's just a straight powder. Okay, well, that's fine. And it looks like we've got some tiny particles of something in there. What is that? I need that for anything. See if there's any green onions. I don't want those. So we're just going to pull those out. Look like there's a few of those in there. This, uh, having to do this will prevent me from ever getting these again, by the way. So this is going to be the only time uh, I ever get this. I'm not ever going to get this kind again just because I, I hate having to do this. But if I don't do this, it'll sometimes uh, cause some issues with my tum-tums. All right, so there it is. It's all layered up. What we're going to do is hit the fill line, cook for four minutes, let it sit for five minutes, and then we're going to come on back and see what it's all about. All right, we are back and we got this all cooked up. Oh, nice like. Give it a little quick stir here. Okay. And away we go. Just a touch of heat to this. A little bitter though. So I think it's probably of the extract variety. So I think they're going for a slight pass at the heat maybe of those Korean style noodles. But they're missing the flavor component. Which is the one thing that Firewalk did a really good job of that. You know, and if I'm being honest, part of what I was interested in was to see how close in flavor this would be to the first spicy beef. 
And it's actually, flavor is similar. This is notably hotter though than the uh, Fire Bowl was. Firewalk was also hotter. This one is probably pretty close to that. I don't like this flavor though. So even if I didn't have all that business going on with all those green onions in the beginning, I wouldn't get this again. Mm, heat wise, I would say we're still pretty much treading on a default one. There's just a there. There is that bitterness that comes with extract, and that is reading really strong in this. I think with noodles, beef too is this really own flavor, really strong flavor. Chicken is a lot milder and I think it melds with things better. I think like the Firewalk, I think I'm gonna give this one actually a legit one. I am getting a decent build, but it's, it's very, very reminiscent of extract. Which I guess makes more sense because it obviously is uh, from that. Eh, this is not enjoyable. Getting the sludge at the bottom here is honestly kind of gross. Yeah, the rest is just liquid. I don't drink my soup liquid, so I won't be drinking this either. But this did not uh, dissolve very well, honestly. So I don't know. That, uh, that was poor. Like I said, heat wise, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll give it a legit one. I mean, heat is respectable for a, uh, you know, you sort of mass market, but they just did not do a good job with the flavor. the The firewalk is just completely, completely outclassing this. This one and the fireball were kind of fun to do once, just to see what happens. But their, their chicken yakisoba, I like to have that on hand because that melds so well with hot sauces. This, I have never had, I've tried every single beef flavor that they have in the yakisoba, and including both the, there's a teriyaki beef and a chicken, both of those are bad. But they, they just don't do beef flavoring in a ramen soup well. And I think I'm also not prone to beef and soup, but I'm not a fan of that generally. So, Probably the wrong audience for that, but this this is just really just reading is kind of a bitter, funky, obnoxious thing, and uh, I, I'm never getting this again. The, flavor wise, this is honestly this fire yakisoba is not worth eating. Uh, heat wise, though, like I said, respectable. You know they were clearly going for more of the heat of the Korean style, whereas Firewalk I think was going more for the actual flavor. And in that situation, that scenario, I'm always going to choose flavor every time. So, but anyway, there you have it. The Marachan Fire Yakisoba Spicy Beef Noodles. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.